people are figuring out a way to fight this thing, which mm -hmm. is great. And we're learning if there's ever been a time in your life where the need to want to lose weight and be in shape mm -hmm. yes. has yeah. been the reason to do so. If there's ever been a time, you know how people yeah. say, hey, Uncle Johnny, take care of yourself. Hey, babe, take care of yourself. Yep. Hey, bro, you got to kind of lose some. Hey, dude, you got to kind of like, if there's ever been a time where you got to take your weight seriously, today's the time. By the yeah. way, yeah. you know what's crazy, this message, when you give this message, you know who hears it? He selected hearing. People. No, no, the people that need to hear it they're like, can we change the topic already? Oh, yeah. something oh, else? Yeah. No, 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 yeah. bro. This is like the I'm telling that are you. People doing it are like, yes, exactly. Well, like, I'm 42 years old, Phil, and we were talking about it yesterday. You were telling yep. me all this stuff. Flexibility. I'm feeling at 42, right? right? I'm training with my guy E. He says, listen, if you don't start at 42 exercise, and this thing gets very hard at 50, and it's going to get harder and harder and harder. Mm, right. Health exercise is very important. COVID validated. Clean your hands. You know that's one thing. Fine. The other part is your diet, your health. Absolutely. You got you got to go take care of your health. A lot of people just don't look at that. So, yeah. but you know, Joe Rogan, power, more power to him. Mm -hmm. So happy for the guy. Very happy. He's very very necessary today for the world. This is not even like Joe is necessary for the states. Joe is necessary for the world because yeah. he's getting everybody to have the tough conversations. So glad the guy's doing good. Three days after having COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, he what, made what did Carlos Mencia say about him? By the way, Carlos Mencia said great. <laughs> Uh, he said, "What I?" Uh, uh, he says, "What he said? I got COVID." Uh, uh, he says, "Now they're gonna say uh, what was the tweet about him?" You sent it to me. It was hilarious. Say, I stole COVID from Rogan. They're something gonna say right. I stole COVID I from Rogan. COVID yeah. Yeah. because he got it or something like First that. First of all, Carlos has got to get funny. on Joe Rogan and get it over with. By the way, Carlos, go make Carlos that phone needs call. to come on this show. He already has. Oh, you mean well, come again, back on, on the, the podcast. podcast? Yeah, we're trying to get a date for him to come on the show. Come on, Carlos. Yeah, he will. No, but you're definitely right. I mean, Joe Rogan. Like, shout out to you. I mean. You know, at the end of the day, we really just have to take the aesthetics out of like working out and just look at just the health in it mm -hmm. in itself. I think when people talk about, you know, health, they're like, oh, well, you're talking about a slim waist and this and that. And it's like, well, yeah, but we're really like at the vault. I was talking about how all these entrepreneurs, you know, they want to work hard, 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 push, yeah. push, push to make money for their families. God bless them. But at what cost? Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so then when they t get older, they're trying to buy back their health. Yeah. That's let's a very try, powerful let's, message. Let's try to figure out a balance. But most importantly, right now, like what Pat's saying, I mean, we're at a great moment in time where we should be outside. Yeah. Vitamin D. We yeah. should be mm -hmm. getting healthier, you know, foods in our bodies. You only get one body. Mm -hmm. You should really treat it with greater amount of respect. And this isn't fat shaming or anything like that. But obesity does kill. Yeah. And right now with COVID, we it, the stats show that if you are overweight, you need to do something about that. Now, that may come at a, you know, a price later on if you ignore it or you could pay for it now and hire a personal trainer. You can or you can go on Google and start figuring out, you know, what healthy methods can I do currently? There's so much information out there. So I just want to encourage more people to, you know, just like how you would treat your business, treat your body even better. Mm -hmm. You know, really mind that body, like figure out like what you think you're eating probably isn't healthy. Well, let's change that. Mm -hmm. You know, fast food, probably not. You know, let's let's learn how to cook again. Let's, let's learn how to maybe drink less alcohol, uh, get proper sleep. And when we talk about recharging our bodies, let's recharge them. So then when we are going back, like when you say you know, you're going to run yourself hard, 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 but then you know how to recharge so you can do it again. Majority of people don't know how to do that. So question for you, Phil Heath, seven time Mr. Olympia. Uh, uh, how lucky are we? If, if there's a scale, 100 percent, what percentage of health and wellness is attributed to diet versus exercise and working out? Can you give those numbers? This is very, very interesting because at the vault, I had people tell me what it was. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, it's just uh 80% diet, 20% working out. And I said, okay. well, if that's the case, then uh, there would be no gyms. Like, you know, you have to move your body. Is you, it 50-50? What are you saying? I mean, I, I think it definitely depends. I, I would say, for the most part, people got to start moving their bodies. So I'm mm -hmm. going to go probably 60-40. 60-40 I'm going to say 60-40. No, 40%? I'm going to say moving your body, 60 Diet forty. Oh wow! Uh, because just so I'm, you know, in the in the bodybuilding world, that's very unconventional to say that. That that's what's that's what he's saying here. Because most people will say the eighty twenty rule. Right. Diet the, is the, more important. To move your body, it's a very you very. You have to do it. Like yeah. how many people are actually getting thirty to forty five minutes of cardiovascular work three to four times a week? Just cardio in itself. Mm. Very few people. 
how many people are eating like crap all the time every freaking day so you definitely have to move yeah. your body you know and, and you know it enhances your lymphatic drainage we talk about the lymphatic system we can go into that in another time but just the levels of inflammation and due to covid there's this thing called covid f- fatigue so mm-hmm. you know people stressed out all the time their cortisol levels going through the roof the inflammation that they carry you know you start seeing people that stress you look at their eyes and you look at their cheeks you know like they they just look run down well, because they're on the internet looking at negative stuff. So we talk about positivity more. We talk about loving ourselves more, thanking ourselves more for even standing up for, you know, the adverse times. But, uh, you know, I, I really do believe, like, when you talk about uh, faith, I think it's very important that we find something very positive that we could, you know, look at to hold us up when we can't hold ourselves up. Mm. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.